Okay, should be good. Great. Um, hi, I'm Pigeon. This is Redo. Um, it's a survival horror Metroidvania type thing. Um, with relatively tactical combat. And... I don't know, it's just, it's an interesting game. So, I'll explain it more as I go. Um, are we ready on time? I'll just count down. Yeah, just count me down. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. You can mash through with A and X, so you just power through that. The basic story of the game is it's post-apocalypse. Um, the world is overrun with these biosynthetic creatures, like this one. Um, and you got a message, and the big question is, did your message come from a human, or is it not a human? Now, the bid war has kind of spoiled that for you, um, but, you know, you can decide what to do with the thing we meet at the end. As you can see, rolling is the fastest form of movement by quite a long shot. Um, most of the movement in this game is pretty slow, pretty limited. You can't jump very high, you can't run very fast, but rolling is OP, so I'm going to roll everywhere. You've also seen me roll in the air, I think, once so far. Uh, you can buffer rolls and uh, they will roll frame perfectly um, if you input before your first roll is finished. And that's going to come in handy later because that buffering works in midair as well. So at the moment, I've gone and got the taser, which is pretty much the first weapon I think you can get. It's very useful uh, in the early game. Uh, you, and you need it to shoot that switch, which opens this door, which takes you to the biggest open area of the game called Twilight Bridge. This is where the rolling comes in handy. We just roll off that statue, and instead of going right round the whole room, we can hit that convenient platform uh, and also grab the submachine gun while we're there. And the submachine gun is great for dealing out lots of damage quickly. You'll notice I'm rolling through some of the enemies as well. I don't think I touched on this yet. Um, an enemy only has an active hitbox if it's got that red and white flashing around it. Otherwise, it doesn't have a hitbox and you can just go through it. Um, pick up some ammo coming around here and then this would be the first boss, but you can just take some damage and go right through it. And I'm gonna go here and unlock that ladder for later. Uh, this is a Metroidvania, yes. It's a bit unconventional for a Metrovania in some respects, but it is one. All right. Making our way up here now. I'm gonna go and save, because I need the health. Do I get good RNG? I do. Sometimes that fire from the dragon can hit you, and it's basically luck. Oh, the difference in the white and blue numbers. Um, white is health and blue is stamina. So when an enemy runs out of stamina, it will typically um, become unable to attack or basically its state changes. Some of them actually benefit from running out of stamina. I've come in here to get the energy grenade, which is really, really helpful and a bit broken because it does damage um, every frame that it is touching an enemy and that's real useful for dealing with some of the bosses that we can't skip so easily. Speaking of bosses that we can skip though, um, this is, well, what is shooting from above me is called the horror from above, uh, but instead of dealing with it, I'm just gonna use these conveniently placed platforms to not get hit by it and move on. We're not going to see it again. So 
So now we're at the Solar Cathedral. That is where the creature is. But we can't meet the creature yet because very conveniently the creature is locked behind this door. But a bit more conveniently for us, there's a weapon in here called the Hand Cannon, which is a really powerful gun that also has the ability to blow up some statues which are blocking the way to the key cards that we need to open that door. So all very nicely thought out for us. Oh, hold on. And off we go. Gonna be picking up a few more ammo pieces, but I am gonna be staying at 100 health the whole time. When an enemy is red, by the way, it means that if it has an active hitbox if it doesn't already, and also it has more health. Um, it's random whether or not an enemy is red, so that's a bit of a pain. I'm going to let these cycle through. And we're on our way. We're going into an area called the Sculptor's Building now. The Sculptor's Building is a unique place in the game because it features invisible enemies like that one that just hit me. Um, they're a pain, but you don't necessarily have to encounter too many of them, so... Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Right. There are two more down there, but we don't have to deal with them. So somebody in chat asked if this keyboard or gamepad, have you seen that? Oh, um, I didn't see that. Oh, no, I see that now. Um, I'm playing using gamepad, but you can play using a keyboard. Also, uh, we have a donation. Do you have any time for that right now? Uh, sure, that's fine. Yeah. So we have a $5 donation by Kikapoo. I know who that is. Thank you very much for the donation. It says, your community is just so great. Much, much love and appreciation. Thank you. Great. All right, excellent timing. We're about to meet the third boss, and I guess a bit of a jump scare warning. It's going to lurch in from the left of the screen in a few seconds. Hello. This is called God's Head. Um, there's a reason for that in the lore, but I'm not sure I've got the time to go into that right now, especially not while fighting it. So it floats around this room, and it's a bit of a pain. But as long as you know what you're doing, dodging it isn't necessarily too difficult. And then we just get shut of it with the cannon. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Gotta get that switch. There are three switches in this room, and they open up. Oh god. I'm gonna play it safe. Please let me play it safe. Please don't kill me. Oh, it killed me. Oh, that doesn't happen often. Okay, we're going to fight God's Head again. Um, so those invisible enemies, they bite you. And it's a good thing you can't see them because the animation is honestly pretty scary. Ow, 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 ow. That's not good. Very, that's not very good at all. Anyway. We'll deal with them again. It's not too difficult as long as you stay with the same sort of movements. I'm going to try and play it a little on the safe side. Okay. Taken out. All right, let's see. Oh, not again. Please don't do this to me again. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, there are two invisible enemies down there. Um, and they're horrible. Those are the worst ones in the game to deal with. Well, some of the worst ones in the game to deal with.
Um, but I don't think we're going to be seeing any more of the invisible enemies, if I remember rightly. I'm going to have a go at these things. These are garbage piles. But they can still hurt you, but they're garbage piles. Uh, just get some health out of them. Now we're on our way to the fourth boss, which is in the science department. A little bit out of the way. It's across the map, but it's not too difficult to get there. By the way, you can see those posters with um, those women on it. Those women are actually dolls, and they are the predecessors of the synthetic organisms that are all the monsters here. They mutated and then took over the world and destroyed human civilization. That's the basic gist of it. There's a bit, there's a bit more deep lore, but that's the idea. This is one of the most movement specific, precise parts of the game. I want to ow. Okay, that that's fine. I want to stay out of the way of those slasher things. I didn't quite succeed, but it's okay. I don't really need high health for this. The importance is on the ammo. I've got to have quite a bit of ammo. I'm going to let this thing come over to me so I can attack this without it sneaking up behind me again. So this is the science department. We're about to meet the fourth boss. It's called the Crawler. The reason for it being called the Crawler will be um, pretty evident in a short while. It's just down here. So the crawler attempts to back you into the corner and it does this by crawling at you and also doing that. It's quite a lot of fire. Um, it can shoot from quite a distance. So it, it tends to alternate between shooting fire and also spitting out these little runner goon enemies. There we go. Okay, that's the fourth boss done. Um, in a minute, I'll ask for the results of the um, bid war. Whether, see whether you are feeling merciful or not. Right, so that's the key card. Now we've got both of the cards we need. I'll let them go. Let them through their cycle. <laughs> Alright, I think about here's a good place to call it. Can I have the results of the bid war, please? Yes, of course. So, actually, shoot the creature is what the people have decided. One by shoot. ten dollars. All right. Not feeling very merciful today, then. That's all right. I tend to um, save personally in my um, in my regular attempts, but you know, it can be cruel this once. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, that's the bad RNG. So we're making our way back to the cathedral. This time we can use these handy ladders that drop down when we came down the first time. Right, 
on our way up. Um, time will be when I make the decision to shoot the creature. I'll call it out. It's got a mash route some text and then you get the dialogue. Alright, that's the creature. Got it gunpoint. A bit more mashing. Alright, gonna call out time. Time. And there you go, that's redo. That's any percent. Um, creature has been dispatched. Well, X Alley. I don't know if you think that's cute, but there you go. It is a lovely game. Developed by, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Robson Piver. Um, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but solo dev on this game. And for my part, I did all of the routing and strat hunting uh, all myself for this. And I'm pretty proud of it and how it's come on. Um... You get to find out a bit more about what happens after you shoot or save the creature if you play New Game Plus, which is the same map but with different enemy spawns and different item locations, and it's harder. You love my accent. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jinko Module 2. I appreciate it. Um, so that's Redo. Um, and at some point, maybe I'll be showing off New Game Plus or 100% or New Game Plus 100%. Uh, but i got to root those first. Um, and I don't know at some point hopefully I'll figure that out great um, I suppose that's it from me uh, you can I mean you can follow me on Twitch at Clever Pigeon there you can follow me on Twitter I'm also Clever Pigeon there same spelling same everything um, yeah thanks a bunch I'm glad I got to show this off um, it's a really nice game to play both casually and as a speedrun um, so great. That'll be it from me. Thanks. Yeah, that was Redo by Color Pigeon. Thank you very much for the nice run and for all the people watching and donating. Uh, I'm Sadiki, that's the end of my restreaming shift, which means we will switch restreamers. You probably know it already, but once again, just to explain, stream is going to go down for a few seconds. Don't go anywhere. It's not over, okay? I promise. We'll continue with a very